Greetings, educators. The results are in again. It is now 2018. And last year, I showed you my reading results after using the Open Court Phonics system. And this year, I did the same thing. I used the Open Court Phonics system. And um, I wanted to share with you my SRI scholastic reading inventory results for the end of the year, as well as what they look like at the beginning of the year. So I covered up the names of my students with sticky notes. And here you can see the beginning of the year codes. They're color coded. BR means reading below reading level. Um, if it's red, of course, they're below second grade level. If it's yellow, they're on grade, they're close to grade level. If it's green, they're on grade level and dark green above grade level. So um, this is August. Um, this is May. So it looks like the red students that were reading below moved up to yellow. Yellow moved up to green, light green moved up to dark green. Um, here we have a student here that did progress, but is still reading below level. Here, yellow to green, light green to dark green. Um, here I have a student that spoke no English at the beginning of the year and did progress. Uh, as you can see, this purple bar shows growth. So every student has growth. And 100 points of growth is one year of reading growth. So the first student listed here who started out in August below reading level grew or had four years of reading growth. Here we have three and a half years of reading growth and so forth. Everything is 400s, 300s, down further 200, which means two years of growth. Here we have almost two years of growth here with 182, 181, 178. Um, my second page here, I had to cross out one student because she came from another country and then they moved her back into first grade due to her age. But the trend continues. My yellow moved to green with 164 points of growth, which is a little over a year and a half. Um, my higher students, you know, did not move as much, but we still have a year's worth of growth, almost a year's worth of growth, about a half of year's worth of growth. But as you can see, this student here started at 680 and went up to 729 Lexile points. And if I go back to the first page, there's a section that shows where second graders should be. They should be reading within a Lexile level of 420 to 400 to 654. So when you get up into the uh, 700s, that's reading on a fourth grade level. Um, my only disappointment was this last student here. Yes, the child was from a different country, um, but she did speak English. There was no growth here um, on the RI assessment, computerized, but I did see growth um, with her direct reading assessment, DRA, that I gave her, as well as um, me working with her one-on-one, -on -one, I did see growth, although it didn't translate into the computer computerized test that she took. Um, yes, phonics was an, an enormous help. Uh, the open court system also introduces words to the students that they are not familiar with, so vocabulary development also helped with the RI assessment, so they could decode words with the phonics. They knew what words meant with lots of vocabulary enrichment. Um, I would also like to say, when it came to this reading inventory test, I also made sure that the students 
on the test as well as tests and assessments and assignments that we have daily in reading, students must prove their answers. So whatever they answer for a particular question, they must prove why that is the answer. And so before they took the reading inventory test, they, they take this test four times a year. So what you saw were the first time scores and this month's scores, May 2018. And so I impressed upon them every time that they took the test. Please make sure before you click next, prove your answer. Go back into the passage and justify why you thought A, B, C, or D was the answer. So that all of those components helped with their reading score. But of course, the foundation is phonics and then vocabulary. Of course, proving your answer, which Marva Collins did, was a big proponent of. And um, next year, I plan on adding, uh, adding to their field of knowledge with educational videos from YouTube that are appropriate for the classroom. For example, if I read a book to them, maybe uh, about Mufaro's Beautiful Daughters, uh, not only would I pull vocabulary words for enrichment, but I would show them a video of maybe um, how an African village really looks and operates today, or how someone really does plant and till the land for a garden or maybe different types of snakes, or what do garden snakes really do? What is their purpose? Using short videos so that they can be exposed to more than the words on a book. I can bring that book alive, thereby enriching them in many ways, in addition to the phonics, in addition to the vocabulary development, so that everything will start making sense to them. So those are my results for 2018. I will see you with more results in 2019. And um, I will continue to post. And please, if you have any questions, feel free to contact me. Peace.